Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I navigate my house in the dark. So I have small nightlights strategically placed throughout the house that I use as anchors to give me an idea of where I am and where to go as far as where doorways are, where small hallways are, or where rooms are. And it just gives me little uh, focal points to give me an idea of where I am and how I need to get where I want to be. So I'm going to be giving you a tour of the house and I'm going to show you how I get through the house um, without walking into walls, uh, well, <laughs> more than I actually already do. So come on with me and I will show you how I do it. Come on with. Hey, it's great to see you. Welcome back to the channel, Blind to Billionaire. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I navigate through my house in the dark using night lights as anchors to give me an idea of where I am and where I need to go. So throughout my life and over the last few years especially, when I tell people that I'm visually impaired or that I'm blind, whatever, I, whatever term that I use, um, a lot of people always ask me, how do you get around your house? And I've always thought that's so weird because, I mean, let's be honest, just about anybody can probably navigate their house in the dark or with their eyes closed. Just because we spend so much time walking around our house, you know, we, we have a good feel for it. So I always find it weird that people ask me how I navigate my house. So I thought, you know what, it might be really interesting just to give you a tour and show you how I actually do it using these night lights um, just as focal points to give me an idea of where to go and how to navigate the house. So let's jump inside and I'll give you a tour and show you around. So it's going to be dark inside, but I'm going to be pointing out the night lights that I use and why I have them where I do because they give me uh, very key points on where I am in the house. So come on, let's go inside and check it out. So here we go. I'm going inside from the garage into the house. So as I mentioned, it's dark. Uh, and the reason is because I want to point out the, the night lights. So here I am, I'm standing on the rug right inside the door. And this is actually the kitchen. So I'm not sure what you can actually see. But right over there, to the left of the stove, is a night light in that corner. And that one works in conjunction with another night light right down here. So right inside the door, down and to the left, I have a night light. And the reason I have that one there is straight this way. So like the night lights on the wall right here, if I follow that wall straight up and out, that's how I get out to like the dining room and the living room. So I'm not sure if you can see out there at all, if it's just black. But anyway, I'll show you from a different angle why I have this light right here, this light right here, and then the one over in the corner. So then if I actually come around and I'll, again, I'll show you all this from a different angle too. If I come around this corner here, if I look, you can see maybe just a, a dim glow. And there's actually a bathroom right there. There's another night light in that bathroom. So although I can't see all that well in the dark at all, like my night vision is terrible, I can see lights. For example, the night lights that I just pointed out, I can see those. And I can see glows. You know, like I can see that room is glowing. Like. It, it's very it's a very dim glow for me, but I can actually still see that it's glowing So all right, I'm gonna turn around So here's that nightlight again I'm gonna walk right along the side of this wall parallel to this wall outside of the kitchen into the dinette So now when I'm walking out of the kitchen, there's a nightlight straight across on That wall over there, so I know when I walk out of the kitchen if I walk straight at that light it's going to bring me to the wall. And then when I get to that wall, if I take a right, it's going to bring me to the stairs. So actually, as I stand right on the edge of the kitchen and the dinette here, right at the edge of the carpeting, to the left, it's completely black. We don't have any nightlights over there. And the reason is, um, mainly, I, there's not an outlet, there's not a receptacle over there that is in a good place that makes sense for a nightlight. I've tried a few of them out, but otherwise there's... We have a couch and a love seat over there, and you know most of the outlets are actually covered, so there's not a good place to put a nightlight. But I also don't really need one over there. So anyway, I'm walking. I'm going to walk out of the kitchen. And I'm going to walk straight to that light over there, and then I'll turn around and show you the kitchen area. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to walk all the way. I'm just going to take a few steps into the dining room, and then turn around. So here I am standing in the dining room. 
And if I look back to where I just came from, there's that nightlight right over there on the wall, just right inside the door that I pointed out. Hopefully you can see this, but right at the far side, far out there, is that dimly lit room, which is the bathroom. So, um, and then I'll turn around here. I'll actually back up all the way to the wall. So I'm standing at the wall now. So again, um, I have this nightlight right here to my left and here. And then if I walk straight, again, if I parallel this wall, it'll bring me right, right over to the stairs that lead upstairs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to the stairs and I'm gonna turn around and act as if I just came down from upstairs. So I'm actually on the landing at the bottom of the stairs. And there's that nightlight right here on the wall near the bottom of the stairs. So when I step down the landing, there's this nightlight. And what I know is that if I step about two steps beyond this light, and if I turn left, I'll see the other nightlight in the kitchen. So I, I walked about two steps past that nightlight, and then I can see that kitchen light. So now I walk straight toward that light. Oops, I actually just bumped a chair. So I'm walking straight to the light, to, to the light and now I know that I just walked onto hardwood from carpet. If I look to my left, I can see that light there to the left of the stove. And then if I look straight ahead, there's an island here in the kitchen. But if I look straight ahead, if I parallel the island again, I can see the dimly lit room here. And if I walk into it, here we are, another light light and I'm in the bathroom. So again, walking out of the bathroom, all I do is I look for that light right there. If I wanted to go back to like the dining room, living room area, I would walk straight toward that light. And if I wanted to go over by the stove or the fridge, I would walk directly at that light. And again, both of them would allow me to avoid the island in the middle of the kitchen. So I'll walk back over to the stairs and show you how I go upstairs now. So walking through, using the anchors, using this light as the anchor, walking straight at it. When I get to the light, take a right. I know my the stairs, the landing for the stairs is about three steps to the right of that light. So now I step up onto the landing and now the stairs going up. So there's no lights here, but I just know that there's 15 steps. So I'll go up. You know, and one other thing too is, well, the, the, the handrail always ends at the top of the stairs, so that's always a good indicator too. So at the top of the stairs, there's another nightlight just to the right. So if I wanted, when I get to the top of the stairs, I could turn right and I could walk over by this light. And if I look diagonally this direction, there's a dim light there. That light doesn't show up well, actually, it does from here. There's another nightlight right there, which is actually inside of the second bedroom door. It's just right inside the door. So that's actually my office that I uh, have my computer and everything set up in. So if I want to go to my office, I know that all I need to do is walk straight at that light and it'll get me to the doorway. Since that light is actually inside the room, I know that if I can make it to that light, I'm inside the room. So I'll do it. And actually, there's a wall right here that I've walked into many times. But, um, yeah. So anyway, here I am inside the room. And there's my computer. So if I go and sit on my computer, I'll go and sit. I leave my chair right in front, my computer. So if I wanted to leave the room, I just twist around. I can stand up, and if I walk straight toward the wall, that is directly on the opposite side of my computer. I take a couple steps, just enough so that I can see that light over there by the door, and there it is. There's the light. So I know that if I walk straight at that light again, it's going to bring me to the door. So what I'll do is I'll walk straight to the light, and then what I'll know is I can see the light at the top of the stairs. Again, another anchor that tells me where to go. So here I am walking straight to the light and out the door. So I'm at the doorway, I'm standing in the doorway right now, and there I can see the light at the top of the stairs. So now I know if I take about one step out of this door and do a 180, I'll walk into 
the master bedroom. So now there aren't any night lights in the master bedroom, but there is another way that I can. So the master bedroom is a little bit tricky because there's no lights in there. So it makes it a little bit more difficult, but I can see into the master bathroom, which there's a couple night lights in there. And I can see those from standing right next to the bed in the master bedroom. So it allows me to have a straight shot to the bathroom. So I'll walk out of this room and then walk into the master. So you may not be able to see anything when I'm in there, but I will point out when I get over by the bed, I'll be able to point toward the bathroom and show you the other nightlight that I use in there as that anchor to, to navigate my way into the bathroom. So here we go, walk out of the room, do a 180, and here I am right in the master. So again, black in here, but I know the layout of the room and I know about how many steps it is from here to the bed, here to the wall, but what I'll do is I'll walk straight to the bed, straight toward the bed. And then if I look to the left as I get near, I'll be able to see one of my other night lights in the bathroom. So I'm walking, I'm walking, and there it is. If I look straight to the left, I can see that bright light way out there. And that's another night light in the bathroom right next to the sink. So when I get out of bed, I can walk to the end of the bed which is exactly where I'm standing now. And if I look far out there, I can see that light. So then all I need to know is that if I wanted to go to the bathroom, all I need to do is just walk straight toward that. And there's actually a, a small hallway that I walk through in order to get there. And again, um, I've walked into those walls a couple times too, but it's all about getting a feel for the house and um, just setting up these anchors to allow me to navigate without having collisions with the wall. So I'll walk straight at the light. I'm still always cautious when I walk. So then now, when I felt the transition from carpet to tile, I know that I'm in the bathroom. So there's the light that I walk straight toward. And when I got into the bathroom, there's another night light right there, which is on the other side of the sinks. So again, I know that when I walk up to the first light that I was looking at from the bedroom, I'm at the sink now, and there is the other nightlight over there. So then if I look, I can actually see this here because this room is a, you know, it's a small bathroom and there's two nightlights in here. So it actually is illuminated pretty well. Um, if I look here, I'm not sure if you can tell the difference on the camera, but the door is white. And because this room has two lights in it, that door actually glows pretty bright. I can see that door is pretty bright. And then I can see just to the right is a black spot. So that black is actually the opening for the door. So I know that if I walk to the right of the white, bright white door and toward into the blackness, then I'm going to be walking out of the door. So as I do, here I'm standing in the doorway and there again, I can see that nightlight way over there. That's my office door again. So if I'm in the bathroom and I wanna to walk to my office, I basically just repeat what I did earlier and I just walk out of the bathroom door, walk straight to that light, and again, I'm in my office. So then I know when I walk out of the bathroom door, now there's no markers here. There's no nightlights or anything. I just know that the steps are about, I don't know, five steps, kind of diagonally a little bit to the right. So I'll I always feel, so then there it is. I'm at the top of the stairs and I'll go back down. So going down, I see my one anchor at the bottom of the stairs, this night light. So I'm standing at the landing and here's my other light. So now I walk there, look to the left and there's my, my night light in the, the kitchen area. If I walk straight toward that, here I am back in the kitchen. So as you can see, I mean, literally, I just navigated basically the entire house um, just using these night lights to get me around that I placed very strategically um, in order to get me to where I wanna go without bumping into things. Obviously, as you noticed a little while ago, there was one time during this video that I bumped a chair from the table. 
But other than that, I literally navigated the entire house without, without bumping into anything. And when I was trying to figure out where to put these night lights, I, um, I tried out many different spots. So I used a lot of different um, outlets and I was trying to figure out which ones were the best. So I tried all these different outlets. I'm going to flick a light on here and then sit on the couch and so that's bright. I apologize if it's too bright. So I'll flip this around. So when I was testing all these different places, I would put the light there, turn all the lights off, and then I would just navigate and see if that was a good place for that light to be. So anyway, it took some trial and error, but now I have a system where I have all these lights put in all these different places that work really well for me. And that's how I navigate around the house. Now, when it's light out and the night lights maybe aren't illuminated because you know it's too bright in the house for them to turn on like if it's sunny and the sun shining in or all the windows are open or it's just bright outside in general um i actually do have a harder time because i i i can't use my night lights uh to help me navigate around the house so i would say the majority of the wall collisions that i have um actually happen during the daytime because you know, I'm just, I'm disoriented a little bit because I don't have any reference points. So, so yeah, I definitely walk into some walls sometimes and <laughs> hurt my feet, hurt my toes, or I smash my face on a corner of a wall. Uh, yeah, it hurts. But anyway, this is how I navigate my house and I found that it works pretty well for me. So anyway, I thought this, in, this might be a, an interesting video just to show you guys how I navigate the house. So since I've had a lot of people ask, not necessarily on this YouTube channel, but um, just in my life in general, I've had a ton of people ask me how I get around my house. So I thought, you know what, it'll be an interesting video. So anyway, leave any comments or questions that you have down below or any feedback or just anything that you want to say in general. I really appreciate it. Otherwise, if you're new to the channel, I would recommend that you subscribe. Uh, I have a lot of interesting videos that I'm bringing to you guys uh, multiple times a week. Usually four to five times a week I'm uploading videos just about uh, RP or different comments or questions. Um, I ask a lot or I'm, I'm answering a lot of questions that people here on the channel have. Or I'm just answering questions that have been asked to me numerous times throughout my life. So... Um, so yeah, anyway, if you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again on a future video. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.